Hi dear students and viewers, welcome back to our channel Anmuray Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most most important topic for four marks question in IP at the same time it is important for computer exams also. So that is the topic is for this video work done by ideal gas in isothermal process. Work done by the ideal gas in isothermal process. What is mean by isothermal process? The process in which thermo in a thermodynamic system pressure volume can change but temperature is always remains constant that process is called isothermal process the process in which even though pressure and volume can changes the temperature is remains constant that should be what we call isothermal process Look here, it is the one system it is there, container that should be having some n moles of ideal gas it is there, n moles of ideal gas it is there, clear. So here first you have to know about the isothermal process, isothermal process, here the process in which Temperature remains constant even though pressure and volume changes. Volume can change. That is what we call isothermal process. Simply part of children delta T is equal to zero. Delta T is equal to 0 or PV is equal to constant. That is the condition for isothermal process. Clear. So that means here we are taking one container it is there that should be having some movable piston. When it is a system and remaining are surroundings. Clear. When any changes occurred in thermodynamic system, here changes means what is that there is any change in pressure or volume, but there is no change in temperature. It means that here there is no change in temperature means what temperature of the system and surrounding remaining all are same. That's why. Then only delta T is 0. There is no change in the temperature and surroundings. That means in isothermal process at every instant of time the system must be in thermal equilibrium with the surroundings. That phenomena what we call isothermal process. In ideal gas equation what we know PV is equal to NRT. Clear. Here N means what? Number of moles. Number of moles. And R is the constant, universal gas constant, is the universal gas constant. And what I am saying, what I am saying here, T is also constant. Why? Because it is isothermal process. That's why in isothermal process, what like PV is constant. Why? Because N is constant, R is constant, T is constant. That's why what we say in isothermal process, PV is equal to constant. So children. To do that one, to get, to get that one, at every time we have to give some time to get the thermal equilibrium with the system and surroundings. So the basic examples are given for isothermal process of children. So melting of ice, melting of ice at 0 degree Celsius, 0 degree Celsius is one of the examples for the isothermal process and boiling of water at 100 degree Celsius boiling of water at 100 degree Celsius that should be also taken as example for isothermal process dear students actually in practical it is little bit difficult to get the isothermal process because there is some loss of heat between the system and surroundings 
So now go for the derivation of the work done by the ideal gas in isothermal process. What's for that? What have to do? And which formulas we are going to use? And how we can derive the expression for work done by the ideal gas in isothermal process? For that, we have some interesting topic it is there. That's why you have to watch the video up to last without any skip, children. So clear? If you want to get the knowledge, you have to wait for up to last to get the subject. Okay? Clear, children. Now, we are taking, this is the one container, that we having, what it is, let n number of moles, n number of moles of ideal gas. Ideal gas is enclosed, enclosed in the container, clear. Now, Initially, we can feel that it is at the distance of here now. Initially, this is what piston. What it is? Piston. Initially, here, the position of piston is here and that should be displaced by the distance of dx. dx. For that, we have to apply some force or the gas should be applied the force on the piston in upward direction. So, then the work done by the gas should be given by the dW is equals to F into dx. Clear children. Let us consider one container it is there. In that n number of moles of gas is there. And there should be enclosed with a mobile piston. By pushing the piston in downward or upward, we can change the volume and pressure of the gas. Clear. So, for example, here what we are saying? For small displacement dx, the amount of work done by the gas is what is dw is equals to f into dx. So children, what we know, but p is equals to what right? f by a. From that, what right? f is equals to p into a. f is equals to what? p into a. Then substitute dw is equals to f means what? p into a into dx. Clear. So then, what do you know? dW is equals to P of A into dx. It is nothing but change in volume. Change in volume. Why? Because when it is displaced some distance, the volume is maybe going to be increased. If the piston is moved in upward direction, volume is increased. If the piston is moved down, volume is decreased. That's why here A into dx is nothing but what it is? Change in volume. Let us check here, A is what? Area. And here it is what? Meter square. And dx is what? Displacement. Displacement. And its units are meter. Then A into dx means what? Meter square into meter. That is what? Meter cube. Meter cube is the unit of volume. That's why A into dx what right? We can write dv. In this way, we will get dw is equal to pdv. This is a small amount of work done by the gas for small displacement of dx. For example, if you want to move the piston from here top to bottom or bottom to top, then the total work done by the gas should be, we will get the by integrating the above equation. Clear children. So, you have to understand this one. What is dw children? dw is equal to p into dx is what is small amount of volume for small displacement so if you want to move the piston from here for example bottom it is i am saying p1 v1 stage 2 here p2 v2 t2 if you can take this in upward direction volume is increased if you can take this one volume is decreased so that means what it is the initial and this is the final so for that displacement, how much we have work we have to do? For that, we have to integrate the equation on both sides. For total work done, we have to integrate the equation. We have to integrate the equation. Integrate the above equation. Integrate the above equation. How? As like this, integral dw is equal to integral where to where we have to move v1 to v2 initial to the final. 
we want to wait to and pdv so this is the equation number one children clear so after that here dw is the differentiation and degradation this one should be reciprocal that's why what you get over here this two are cancel out here this is the total work done is w clear and now we want to v2 pdv clear so what we are taking actually we are taking idle gas that's why here for idle gas what have equation pv is equals to nrt pv is equals to what nrt so here what do i p means here p is equals to what nrt by v pv p is equals to what nrt by v you can substitute this equation in that one the double is equals to integral v1 to v2 nrt by v here n is number of moles r is constant t also constant that's why you can write n r t of integral v1 to v2 1 by v dv d is there clear children so here we are doing the integration with respect of volume that's why here we have to integrate only the term of volume only it is only variable thing clear so now we have one formula it is the children integral 1 by x dx we have one formula it is there integral 1 by x dx here a is called lower limit and b is called upper limit so here if it is like that the formula should be like this integral log x integral x is equals to what log x and limits are a b then what we call b upper limit so first we have to substitute the upper limit where we have x log b minus log a again what it is like log of b by a clear so to solve the remaining steps we have to add we have must know about the idea about the this formula integral 1 by x dx is equals what log x a b 1 by x means what log x and after that what you have to say a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit then we have to write first where you have x where you have to substitute first upper limit that's why i wrote here b minus after that lower limit what is a so again log b minus log a so we have formula is there children log x minus log y is equals to log of x by y clear so that's why here log b minus log a means what right log of b by a so we have to substitute the same formula for this one clear so dear friends if you want to write the notes just pause the video and write the notes okay so i need some space that's why i decided this one okay now we compare these two double is equals to n r t here integral 1 by v integral 1 by x 1 by x means what you got log x in the same manner 1 by v means what log v will get so what you get log v will get and limits are what v1 to v2 clear children then obviously here what is then w is equals to n r t and first what you have to write first i substitute here upper limit in the same manner here same thing n r t of log v2 minus log v1 first we have to write the where we have v there we have to write v2 first and next after v1 then w is equals to n r t of and it is like given in the form of log a minus log b that's what you write log of v2 by v1 so dear students this is the amount of work done by the idle gas okay in isothermal process in isothermal process so children now it is the base e if you want to write the expression the base then you have to multiply the above equation like this 2.303 of nrt n r t log 10 of v2 by v1 this is the another form of the equation so this is what you learn this is the work done by the ideal gas 
in an isothermal process in an isothermal process okay clear children clear very important so if you want to write the notes just pause the video and write the notes so if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe our channel to get all notifications okay children thank you for watching